What is up, my people? Welcome to the Brookstone Boards Gaming Stream. I'm Pete, coming to you from the Nerd Cave somewhere in Indian Trail. Uh, today, we're going to start off with our fifth part, our part five of our Mass Effect, Mass Effect Marathon Spring Break. We are going to be picking up where we left off yesterday. Yesterday, we were playing some cleanup. We had uh, explored uh, some planets in the galaxy. Um, and we finished up a Geth mission. Uh, we finished up, we took out some biotics. We, we, we did a bunch of stuff. Today, we're going to go get Rex's armor. And then we're going to return to the Citadel to pick up some... Uh, uh, pick up some XP that we left there. And then we're going to go to Vermeyer, I believe, for the next uh, the next iteration of the story. Without further ado, we're going to get it. Let's, uh, let's make this happen. Get things going here. And all right. Switching over. It's time. Let's go get Rex's armor. Oh, wait. Did we... Yeah, yeah, we're in the Argus Road Cluster. That's where we're going. We're going to the Phoenix, the Phoenix system. That is where, that is where uh, Rex's armor is. So let's give it, uh, give it a scan here. Look in this. Oh, there we go. Look in this asteroid belt. Got some Prothean data disk. There we go. Let's scan this outer one. Okay, nothing there. So we'll check out Bebenok. We can survey that. Light metals. Cool. Come in here. S Sil Salto. It's like a gas giant. Nothing here. Toontow. Okay, Toontow is where we're going to land. So let's... Scan Patashi first, and it, it's a survey. Rare element. All right. Let's go land on Toontown. Now remember, we have to take Rex, because it's his armor. So we're going to go ahead and take Tally as well. Sorry. Let's take a look. That is the hidden structure. We've got a, an anomaly hidden behind a big mountain. Great. And we've got some debris. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go out this way. We're going to swing wide. See if we can't pick up some extra stuff in that open area. I love me some Mako. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I love that this area is flat. That's also awesome. Let's see what we can see here. This would be a perfect place for a Thresher Maw to attack me. Doesn't look like there's anything here. So we're gonna swing around and go north. There's that debris fields over this way somewhere. Can't believe they didn't put a thresher mall in there. Get that debris. It's like a crashed probe. Let's 
salvage that. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, this is going to be the way right here. Ah, shit. Well, I'm not going to make this one. Whoa, well, yep, yeah, I did. Right through the middle there. <laughs> that was quick. All right, let's go for this anomaly. The best thing about this is let's get we can go around these mountains and make it happen a little faster. It's way up in these mountains. Gotta use that physics engine against it. It's a pyramid. That's a fun anomaly. Ooh. But the anomaly isn't the pyramid. It's this crashed shit over here. Well, let's see what happened. Corpses, crashed speeder, and uh, a sorry capsule. Matriarch's writings. Damn, that's all we got. Next to that pyramid that doesn't do anything. Well, you know what? We should go check it out anyway. fun that they put a pyramid right here in the middle and then uh, didn't do anything with it. It's a pretty desolate planet here. that map so we can get to this hidden structure. Okay. So we're going to go up that mountain. Great. Here we go. Oh, it's not that bad. That's probably the shallow part of the mountain. <laughs> All right, now we're trucking. Oh, 
I always want to give it some juice while you're in the air so you don't come down and hurt the Mako. Not that I'm hurting for Omnigel for repairs, it's just... Try to be nice to the car, you know? base. Savey save right here. This is the place. My armor's here somewhere. We got you, Rex. Oh boy. These guys must be upstairs. We'll get him. down here? Just those fuel tanks, huh? Okay. Right, we got an upstairs and a downstairs. Let's check this out. <laughs> Medical kit, thanks. 
Wetware kit. Wall safe. I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of crap, but at least I've got it back. I'm glad we could help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. Cool. Alright. He got his armor. So that is Rex's, uh, Rex's personal mission done. Let's go take a look in here. I'm pretty sure this is the door I can get in. Yeah. Med kit. Great. Thank you. Ooh, it's a hard decryption. Oof. Come on, get in there. Man, look at that stuff. All right. Cool, cool. I like stuff. All right, let's get out of here. We are on our way. Hey, Ledbetter. Welcome, Raider. <laughs> What's up, buddy? All right, I think it's time to go to the Citadel now. Actually, let's get out of this. Yeah, let's go to the Citadel. Just did three hours worth of the Final Fantasy VII remake. That's a good one. All right. We're going to land at the Citadel. We haven't been back to the Citadel in a long time. Yeah, Ledbetter, I'm on a, uh, on part five of my spring break Mass Effect marathon. After, after this, we're going to go uh, stream on Brookstone Bards and I'm going to do Tinder Thursday today. So it's dual stream day for me today. All right. Let's go. Who do I want to take? Let's see. I'll take... Uh, Take Liara and Garrus. We haven't talked to them in a while. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Right on. Hey, what's up, Rear Admiral? Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. Wow, what a dick. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Huh. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. How about I fuck do you, buddy? I begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment you think so? diverted billions from our appropriations bills. For the same price, we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money in a co-developed boondoggle. What a I'm here to piece make an inspection, shit. Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. 
Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times that goes to the so bathroom. I'm a fuck you. <laughs> and we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I think the Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance Navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I had planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. I like how he came into it thinking that he was going to fuck me. <laughs> Dick face. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Fucking Exogeny. Shitty ass company. Commander Shepard? Hey, it's that reporter chick. Police have been seen in Aljilani, Westerland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The Spectres represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? Ooh, look at that. The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians yeah. have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. Speaking of your new job, did the Council order you to sabotage human research concern on Novaria? The Council had nothing to do with it. There was an accident at Binary Helix Labs. In the interest of protecting the company's confidentiality, I can't say more. That's a surprising revelation, Commander. We've had nothing but stonewalling from Binary Helix. Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? Respect's a funny thing. People always assume they deserve it. The truth is, respect is earned. And I firmly believe we can earn it. You're an idealist, Commander, but a sincere one. I hope you're right. One last question, Commander. 
Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's... surprising, Commander. The official line says Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Oh, X. Sorry. Sorry, Ledbetter. How bad? Garrus, perhaps it is my own trouble with Benezia that makes me ask. But do you feel comfortable facing a respected Turian Spectre like Saren? Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. With your respect for the Spectres, I thought you might hesitate. I'm glad I was wrong. I definitely like in this game that when you take, you know, the various team members in, they will talk to each other. There we go. Yeah, there she is. I know oh, you. Asana. You're Commander Shepard, the Human Spectre. Is yes, there something I, I can do for you? You're Nasana, right? I ran into your sister, Dahlia. It didn't end well for her. What? Are you saying she's... Dahlia's dead, Nasana, and I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now. Not anymore. You wanted your sister <clears throat> dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my yeah. appreciation. Yeah, thanks for that. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. It could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will yes, get you please. added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Sweet. Thanks. All right. Now we need to go to Citadel Tower. I need to talk to you, Avina. Here we go. Well, I'll take a speeder. Hey, it's Emily Wong. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last minute wave offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full blown disaster? What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Hmm. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. 
All right, then. Is this the guy? No. Ah, no, Rear Admiral. Yes. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? You send a recon team out into the Artemis Tau cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. The Alliance yeah. Beacon uses bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. I got you, boss. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Yeah. <clears throat> now then, ah yes, the next person. One more bit of business to do. That's, I, I went the right way, right? Nope, I went entirely the wrong way. They're back this way. Gareth. He's okay. Yeah, this guy. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Sorry, guy. Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. All right. Let's check our journal. Got to plant this bug. Citadel traffic control station. Citadel security. Ah, it's in CSEC. Okay. So, let's go to the rapid transit system. We'll go to think oh no see sex and wards maybe yeah and we're at CSEC. check this map here requisitions Ah, there we go. The other way. So now we're going to go plant that bug. Citadel Tower. Oh, I can decrypt this console. Person of interest. Ooh. C-Sex investigating a woman named Helena Blake. There's no hard evidence against her, but if these reports are correct, she's a powerful criminal element on the Citadel. Last seen near the Emporium on the Presidium. Hey, we should check that out too while we're here. But for now, let's go back. Let's 
go back to Embassy Tower. Or Citadel Tower, excuse me. Talk to Miss Wong. I'm already getting readings. This is gonna make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna show this to my publisher. There we go. Now let's take a look at um, person of interest. Find Helena Blake, uh, financial district in the Presidium. It is. All right. I, I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. Who are you? I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. Why are they arguing? I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. <sighs> My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Yeah. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know... That the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Yeah, give me that Paragon and the level up. What? All right. Find Helena Blake. Is that? That's Sabina. Hanging around outside the Emporium. Okay, well. The Emporium's right next to me, so. That's probably her right there. Oh, that is her. Yep, there she is. Helena Blake. Got a moment? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. I eliminate them, and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter. And you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. 
You're obviously with them. Why don't I just arrest you instead? Arrested for what? You and I are simply having a conversation. I have excellent legal representation. Arresting me would be a waste of your time. Nah. Find someone else to do your dirty work. I want no part of a gang war. Here are the coordinates nonetheless. What you do with them is your decision. Could you really let these men live, knowing that you can stop them? Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Mm. She gave me the coordinates anyway. It's tempting, though. <laughs> it's tempting. All right, I think we're done here. Let's get back out in the black. Right there. Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth hey, suffering heavy that casualties. Was me. I did that. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. Oh no, Ledbetter. You think you might have it too? Well, I mean, you know, get that vaccine, booster, lots of fair flu, lots of rest. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I had it, and so did my daughter. And uh, you know, we actually Locked. came through it all the right. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. All right, it's time to go to Vermeyer. No more fucking around. Time to get down to business. Message coming in. Passing oh. it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. I wasn't aware of that. I won't discuss him again, sir. I'd appreciate that, Commander. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. All right, it's time to hit Vermeyer. Sentry Omega. Is it Hawk the only system here? Yeah. Okay. Let's go check it out. one of my favorite sci-fi spaceships. Yeah, I played Wing Commander. I absolutely played Message Wing Commander. Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Goku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresham War. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Serpers alliance again. black ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. Oh yeah, we'll get that. I've we'll done get that my part. Care of. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Damn, I. All right. Let me check out. I'm going to do Vermeyer first. Jar 4. Nope. Nemata. Nope. Priscilla. Nope. Nothing to scan here. Interesting. 
let's go to Vermeer. And we'll take Rex and Tally this time. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Yeah! Yeah, it's on drop, now. Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Alright, let's go get him, guys. Mako. Oh, I smashed another one. Jamming it. Jammed. Let's, let's see what's upstairs. Oh, 
got another weapons locker out here. Ow, fucker. Come on. Right, take care there, Ledbetter. Hey, Caffeine. No, we're totally doing Tinder Thursday today. I'm just doing this first. Sorry, Ledbetter. <laughs> I thought you were leaving. Well, I'm glad you're not. Oh, you were talking to Caffeine. <laughs> this is a little unsettling while driving. <laughs> Careful, Caffeine. Definitely more bad guys.
Yeah, a lot of stuff in here. Thank you. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Now. Ready to go, Shepard. Open those gates. Oh, you got Ruby Tuesdays coming? Mm. Not a huge Ruby Tuesdays fan, but I love the salad bar. Yeah, Normandy, get it. I'll throw him. Wow! Uh oh. Now it gets fun. Chicken tenders with loaded fries and a loaded big potato. Mm. That sounds tasty as fuck. Well. Trying to stay away from fried shit, but you know, I still like it. Going to the Solarian camp. Hey, T Mac. Thanks for that follow, buddy. Thanks for that sub, T Mac. That's my boy right there. He's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain it again. T Mac, thanks for coming in, bud. Welcome to the gaming channel. Doing a Mass Effect stream so today, and then we're gonna to do, do Tinder Thursday. Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, Third Information Regiment STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and, and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? 
He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that Krogan? possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. <laughs> Drunk destroyed? Alien. I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. Yeah. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. Looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. Yeah, this is the pivotal moment for Rex. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon! And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? No. We were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Yeah, I'd show him the fuck out. Let's decrypt this uh, communications relay. Balls. There we go. Guy in the red armor also, for some dumb reason, reminds me of the Metallica Napster cartoon video with James Hetfield acting like the caveman. I don't know that one. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. <laughs> Drop that nuke from orbit and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. 
And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me, to help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Nope. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We're still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. All right. Here we I go. come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden rats. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped Arachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. <laughs> I hope we will meet again. Till all are one. All right. So Ashley's going with them. I know what that means, but you guys not, might not know what that means. But... That means I'm also now taking, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Rex and Tally. <laughs> Very inspirational. Grabs a ping pong ball and tosses at the top of his head. <laughs> Quit trying to play beer pong with the Salarian's head. <laughs> Tom check, do you read me, Commander? It's fine. Let's move. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. All right. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Oop, oop. Chief Williams, lead your team. Run by. Lead your team. See if I can get a negative contacts, Commander. Heads up. Funnel wise, we have coordinated crossfire. Check for long range turrets helping the guest target. Out. I 
I'll just run up there and get you. That's fine. Throw a punch, bitch! Why do I suck? That's an easy one, too. There we go. Disrupt this triangulation tower. Good stuff. Cut through underneath here. Something scrambled, they're targeting. We've got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. Oh, Sorry, Rex, present company excluded, of course. Not a... I guess not. Here's the... fucking problem. Is that underneath? Where's the...
shock him. We've got access to base security. We can pop the alarms from here. Maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Yeah, we'll take them. all three doors, right? Yes, okay. All right, we're solid here. Tell. Look at that, for sure. All right, let's keep going. Hello? Is someone out there? Oh, well, how do I get down there? What was that noise? What's going on? Can I talk to you? I gotta be down there first. All right, let's get down there. Okay, can we hold him here? Damn, fill those holes. Come, Come on, on Shepard, hurry it up. I'm working on it, Ashley. Shut the fuck up. Damn, a lot of doors in this place. Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? Transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was alternate, indoctrinated. We knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat. And far more horrifying. 
I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There isn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that, empty please. Husks. Let me out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. These look docile. Their minds are gone. Oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure. Leave them like this. Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are you sure, Shepard? At best, they might hurt themselves. If there is any sense left in them, they might be directed to harm us. Let them out. They won't hurt us. Very well. At least the blast will eventually end it. I guess this guy doesn't get to get out. <laughs> All right. All right, back to the mission. There's an elevator. Ooh, a weapons locker. Hard decryption. Great. Yeah. Explore, explore. Thank you. Yes, I like free stuff. Can't open that door. No control up here. No controls. Oh. Elevator it is. happens. Oh, 
some meta gel up on that shit. Station. Some meta gel, yeah. Specialist, but this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. No, it's you not. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effects on organic minds. At least that's what I assume. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him, and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. Yes, get me in there. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of Sovereign. signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct what Saren did to, signal, to turns Major you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage too. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom the subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You, better you can't. Start running. But I'll never. Ah! I like the way you finish. Thanks, Rex. Look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. Oh, yep. Here we go, another vision. This is where shit gets real. something bad is about to happen. 
<laughs> you think? You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us! Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out! What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. It's coming hard. There's nothing we can do here. Idea, Shepard? Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the new. Turning. 
Come on now. Take that. Dance. There's the gun. Clear those gaps and get the charges set. now. Come pick me up. There she is. She's a beauty. in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kirahi is dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. Can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. Take Rex and Tally again. Can't remember which way to go, though. Be down here. Yeah, it's this one. Because I'm jammed.
Yeah, I'll take that. I don't care what it is. I'll take it. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. Alenko, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Who should I get? Let's mm. go get Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I, I... You know it's the right choice, LT. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. gets to be sacrificed. Live. 
Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop it. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. Visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a Spectre. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It's inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Ow!
I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? It wasn't your call, Olenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Sarah. Yes, sir, I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. Yes, it was. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. More visions. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The Conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduits on Ilos, that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a convoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign. A Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. And there it is. 
the council does not believe that a reaper is involved. So, we're going to throw some hot save on this. And that is going to do it for us right now because I do have to get out of here and do uh, the Tinder Thursday show. But, so what we've got so far here is we know where the conduit is. Con the conduit is what Saren's been looking for and it's what Sovereign needs to get here and destroy uh, uh, all, all of, all of, not just humanity, but all of life in the galaxy. Cause that's what the Reapers do. It's what the Reapers did to the Protheans, uh, who were the precursor race that came before. So, uh, the next time that we play, we'll be doing some more cleanup and we'll be on our way to Ilos to deal with this conduit issue. So, uh, for now though, if you guys want, go take a break, get ready. I'm going to get ready myself, and I'll meet you back on Brookstone Bards for Tender Thursday tonight in about a half an hour. So thank you guys so much for coming. And as always, thank you for playing. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.